I need to pose a question. You've heard it said by many that once we get deep into Obamacare, that we cannot repeal it because you cannot take away health care from people. You simply cannot take the entitlement away. It's never happened, and once it gets embedded too deeply, it's gone forever. You cannot take people's health care away. But didn't Obama do just that? By implementing Obama, how many millions of people lost their health insurance? Six million people, last count, lost their health insurance. They were canceled. They don't have it replaced yet. How many people are at this moment panicked or in a state of panic, either because they can't afford the new price They are uncovered after being canceled, or they've been fired, or they've been downsized, or whatever. When Obama did it, everybody said it was progress. Obama's gotten, Obama's taken health care away from people. That's one of the, I think, important realities that goes unmentioned here. It's always the Republicans. That's an Obama. You'll hear it coming up at a soundbite in the Rose Garden yesterday. He says, I don't understand why these Republicans want to take people's health care away from them. Republicans are not the ones who are taking people's health care away from them. It is you, Mr. President, doing that. Barack Obama, middle name Hussein. Pronounce it sometimes, other times I don't. Just depends on how I feel. He's the one who has engineered six million people losing their health insurance. Maybe more. Here is Peter in Seattle. As we grab a quick phone call. Peter, thank you for calling. Great to have you on the program. Hello. Wow, Rush. I'm so glad. I'm on my way to work. I'm listening to you talk about the poll, and I hear you tell us exactly what the poll question was. And I'm listening, and I'm going, well... I would support the federal government changing our health care system. It's costing more and more money every year. But I don't like Obamacare. So the question is very deceiving. It, it, I'm an anti-Obamacare uh, voter, 100%, yet as posed, I thought, well, yeah, I would like to see changes. So it's very deceiving. I've never seen an administration in my 65 years of being here. I've never seen an administration manage to manipulate the press so well. I feel almost like I'm approaching the Eastern Bloc. He's not manipulating the press. He doesn't have to. They're well, all... I agree with you there. He doesn't have to no. do it, but it feels like it. No, no. They're already on board. You have to. Man... They're willing accomplices. They're not, they're not being manipulated here. Uh, well, okay, I agree with you there, Rush. I can't help but agree with you. Well, You're... I'll tell you, you don't sound anywhere near 65, so uh, I, did, I had to make that observation. But look at, folks, Peter here's exactly right. The ABC question, do you think the health care system needs, do you support the changes? Do you support changes in health care? Everybody does. Everybody thinks it could be improved, but that's why they left Obamacare out. So they, they asked this generic, it's a push-pull question. The Washington Post's been, been asking this question for for years. It's always had a high numbers. Why they go back to it. It's always been a close split for years because the question is so vague. Do you support or oppose changes in the healthcare system? Well, if there's no reference to Obamacare and you're just asking, you don't even maybe know what this thing's about. You don't even... Uh, so if it, 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 it's totally misleading, push-pull misleading on purpose. Now, I'm going to tell you what. Remember, folks, Obama has only begun to take away insurance. He hasn't gotten to the employer-provided plans yet. That's next year. Unless he waives them. The only people that have been canceled and lost their health insurance are the people who buy it themselves. Those of you who get your health insurance from your employer, your turn's coming. That's why I keep saying that most Americans don't yet have the slightest idea what's going to happen to them. 
They're hearing all the horror stories. You know what? In fact, last night at the annual Night of the Century Cigar Dinner, I had a guy. I thought it was a good question. It was, In fact, it, it, it helps me to make this point. He said, oh, Rush, I, ke- I, ke- I keep hearing about all the disasters and the horror stories, but nothing's happened to me. I, I, I still have my plan and everything's fine. I said, well, do you get your insurance at work from your employer? Yeah. Well, you're next. You haven't been touched yet by design because most people are in your boat. Most people have their health insurance through work. And the people still employed uh, get their health insurance through work is a large number. And your turn's coming. Wait until um, you know, the employer mandate, uh, that that was supposed to have, have uh, been waived. But so far, the only people really being impacted are people that provide for themselves. They call up and like to buy their own car insurance, buy their own health insurance. You, who get yours through your job, are next. You And it's a, it makes sense to me. I don't understand what the fall of rolls about. Russia had nothing. Out of everything's fine with mine. Well, not totally. Your employer could yet still cancel you and offload the whole benefit, which many have started doing so. 